We're back in the Browns franchise episode here, and right now we are in the preseason after the big draft. Our draft is amazing. Like, literally, that's the best draft I've ever done in any Madden game ever. We did acquire our new starting center, Cody Warfield, in the draft. He's 80 overall, 21 years old, 6'3". Got quick development, which I really love about that. And then we do we did also draft, I believe, Julius Creighton, 70, 80 overall, 22 years old, normal development. He's pretty good himself at left tackle. He's probably going to move to right tackle, actually. And we did, okay. Now, Julius Creighton looks to be the starting right tackle ahead of Sebastian Vollmer, who we did end up signing in the free agency. So, we have a kind of a conundrum now at right tackle. We could go and trade Sebastian Vollmer for a draft pick, which we probably will do. Because, I mean, give Julius Creighton the reps at right tackle, and he might be good in the near future. But now... We also have another kind of situation here at wide receiver. We did draft our new wide receiver. Right now he's in the second spot wide receiver. Wide receiver. And Roland Marmorosa, though, 78 overall. He's fast, 94 speed. He's got great catching, great catch and traffic. I mean, this guy's got all the makings to be a next great Browns wide receiver. But now, we since we do have a lot of receivers here, we'll go to the depth chart, though, and check off. I mean, just show how many wide receivers we have now. we got to trade somebody somehow. I have no idea who we're going to trade, but... Right now, wide receiver, we have Corey Coleman starter, we have Roland Marmorosa, Kenny Stills, Josh Gordon, Ricardo Lewis, and we do have Doriel Green Beckham, and you're probably wondering, wait, why is he a tight end? I did end up converting Doriel Green Beckham to tight end, just based on that, we have way too many wide receivers, just way too many, and a tight end, we do have Joseph Foria, we do have Gary Barnage, but it looks like Doriel Green Beckham could be better than Gary Barnage in the meantime, because Doriel Green Beckham, he is younger, he is, I, I don't think he's less money though, that's one thing. Them. Gary Barnage is making less money, but the thing is with Gary Barnage is that he's getting older, and it looks like Doriel Green Beckham has the better, uh, what do you call it, stats when it comes to. Because if you go check out what Doriel Green Beckham's player card looks like, 89 speed, 86 catching, 90 spectacular catch, 87 catch in traffic. The only thing bad about him is his run block, but I mean, if you look at Gary Barnage, look at him. 79 speed, 86 catching, 81 spectacular, 64 run block. Not that far off. Only about 13 off when it comes to run block. And I'm pretty sure run block's pretty easy to develop too. It's pretty easy. But it looks like Gary Barnage could be pushed out by Doriel Green Beckham. I'm pretty sure it might happen. The only thing bad about him is his run blocking and awareness. But he's 6'5 regardless, 24 years old. Whereas Gary Barnage, he's 6'6, 31 years old. I mean, it's not that far of a difference. And the only other thing, so it looks like we could go and trade Gary Barnage, but I'm going to hold on to them until after the preseason, just based on that we need players. So we got to go maybe draft, maybe sign some players right now. But first things first, we do have free agents after the, after the draft. We did end up signing that fullback, Hanks, who's a beast in, in uh, practice, though. I try him out of practice. He's just a beast. But we'll go to top 100. We'll sort by the age of see undrafted guys. So we have Steven Locker on here, 72 overall. Let's we'll look at his player card, actually. Uh, 91 speed, 93 acceleration, great carrying, great uh, ball carrying vision, too. I mean, this guy is actually not too bad himself. There's a lot of good undrafted rookies. 5'9", 21 years old. You get Stephen Locker. We have Paul Perkins, though, too. One cut running back. He's got decent speed. He's not better than it looks like Locker, though. And then we have the wide receiver, Malcolm Gilmore. This guy is maybe... I might sign this guy. 90 speed, 85 route running, 82 catching. He's got good... Basically everything. I mean, awareness could be easily developed in uh, that uh, upgrading. But, you know, actually, you should probably do that. We'll go and sign... Malcolm Gilmore to our roster right now because we have to sign a lot more players. We'll sign Malcolm Gilmore to the roster just to see if he's better than Ricardo Lewis, which I mean Ricardo Lewis, which I'm pretty sure he is. So now we have him, but we could also sign some other players too. We'll probably sign Stephen Locker onto here because he's undrafted and he looks pretty good. There we go. Now we need to go look at some maybe some cornerbacks or some strong safeties. So who can we sign on here who's kind of young? Uh, who actually, what do we need actually? That's what we need to face. So who do we need in our team besides? Uh, because our offensive line is fine. Like, our offensive line is so stacked after the draft. Wide receiver are fine at. Looks like Malcolm Gilmore is already starting on here, so... I don't know, Malcolm Gilmore could be pretty good. Defense, we do probably need a maybe a left or even a right out to... Like, yeah, probably left out to linebacker here. We'd probably need a strong safety. Maybe another, another corner or two. You know, probably add a few cornerbacks. Maybe a defensive tackle. And maybe a right end, too, actually might be good. Yeah, I'll probably do that. So, send some cornerbacks, send some strong safeties, maybe a free safety too, I'm not really sure. But, if, other than that, I think we should be good with our team. So, we'll go do here. We don't need to sign a kicker on here because we have Travis Coons and we do have that new kicker, Thomas, I think. I'm not really sure what his name is, but uh, we'll go to strong safeties. We can find the best player available and see if we can find like the youngest guy out of all of them. Okay, so you have Ryan Mundy. Who's the youngest guy out of here? We do have Josh Evans on here. He's pretty young, 26 years old, he's not too bad. 85 speed, 
Uh, 64 tackling, 76 zone coverage, 86 acceleration. I don't know. There's anyone better? We've got DJ Swearinger. Ah, uh, he's not that better either. Uh, we'll probably go and add Josh Evans onto here. Why not? Because, I mean, we had to sign a whole bunch of players for preseason. Then we probably cut a whole bunch. But who else do we need to sign on here? Probably look at some of these older guys, too, like Jeremy Evans. Jeremy Miles, sorry. Uh, 85 speed, 75 zone, 87 acceleration. They seem to always have the same, around the same stats. Ryan Mundy, he's not that much better either. Uh, we got William Moore. Who is he? He's not that much better either. There's a lot. All these players are the exact same almost. Uh, this guy's not too bad. Mike Adams, 70, 36 years old, 75 overall. He's not that bad, I guess. We got Antoine Bethea. He's not too bad himself. Actually, we'll sign Bethea. Why not? It doesn't really matter too much what we sign because in reality, most of these guys are going to cut anyway. So let's go move on to some cornerbacks, though. Go on here. Should actually look at some uh, practice eligible players. So we're not signing like we're veterans and then we're just letting them go for no reason. So we'll actually we'll check out what it is on here for all. And see if we can go down from there. So Traymond Williams, who was on the team, or Traymond Williams, I don't know how to say his name too much. He was on the team last year. We did end up releasing him, and he's still in the free agency. We're not going to sign him back, obviously. But let's see what else is on here, though. Oh, uh, we got... I have no idea to say this, but I'm just going to say Wilson. He's not too bad, actually. Wilson's not too bad. Uh, he's 80 press, 72 man, 76 zone. We'll leave that there. Let's see some of these guys who are practice eligible, though. So we do have Matt Rager, undrafted rookie. He's pretty good, actually. I like Matt. Just off the bat, we'll sign Matt onto the team. Matt Rieger, undrafted rookie. Most of these guys are going to be undrafted rookies, just to be honest with you. Uh, we do have Ricks. Let's see, Jer Jimmy Ricks, 89 speed. He's actually some, got some pretty good stats, too, for himself. I like... Yeah, we'll sign Jeremy, I mean, Jimmy Ricks. Add him into the practice roster, or the active roster for now. Uh... And I think that's probably enough for corners, maybe. I'm not sure, but we'll go to linebackers. We'll go to right to linebacker first. So we got Devin Hosley, though. Let's see Devin. He's tw 21 years old, 81 speed, 80 tackling. Okay. He fits more of, I don't know. He's not really that the greatest, I guess. His speed's pretty off. We'll go to middle linebacker. We got Nat Bowie. Or Bo. Uh, he's not too bad himself, I guess. He's not. I don't really sign him. Left it to linebacker, there we go. Eric Morton, okay. 60'd overall. He's not too bad, I guess. He's okay. I don't know. We got Hudson Hazelton. 88 tackling, 81 speed. He's not too bad, I guess, too. I will go Delgado, though. Mm. Is there, is there anyone good on here? You got Mikhail McLeod. He's not too bad. I will sign Mikhail. Why not? We need to sign somebody eventually, so we'll sign Mikhail onto the roster. Who else do we need, though? We need to fill a roster pretty much up to the max. I think we have, like, like 70 players by now we have a lot of players in our team right now so we'll go to trade center 70 players we have right now 71 to 72 okay so we'll have we have room for one more player we'll go sign like maybe two more so we can get some players next week or this week so for agents let's go and sign some more linebackers i guess maybe you know the other strong safety too either actually let's go sign some linemen we'll go to defensive tackle so who do you have on here for defensive tackles on practice eligible players rashawn sims He's pretty good, actually. I like him. We'll sign Rashawn. There we go. Uh, now we have Dante Burley, who is him. 85 strength, 66 speed. He's okay, I guess. Uh, Cavill, Julius Cavill. He's actually pretty... Uh, he's okay, I guess. Uh, I'll go on to Heron. Dylan Heron. Nah, he's not that much better. So anyone good up here, though? Presley. Didn't see this guy. Jermaine Presley. We'll add him on here. Why not? You'd have to add some more defensive tackles on here for sure. There you go. And I'll go to left outside or right side outside and see what we can find. So we got Rashawn McGowan. Okay. See this guy. Rashad McGowan. He's pretty good, actually. 78 speed. He's actually pretty good. Rashad McGowan. Cool. But now we have... I'll go to... Well, there we go. And we got Charles Trapper, though. Charles Trapper. He's 24 years old. 85 speed. 80, 80 strength. Okay. I'll add him on here. Why not? 2.6 million, though. He's... Pretty, uh, pretty penny there, but Andre Dyer, he's pretty good too. All these guys actually look pretty good for their stats. They're starting off stats. We'll add him too. I think that's probably enough. Yeah, that's enough. We probably convert some of those guys to left outside, or just left end, because we don't really need that many right ends on the team, but I think we got enough players on here. We do have a lot of uh, right outside linebacker, I mean not right outside linebackers, right ends, 
and defensive tackles are pretty stacked there right now. Linebackers are fine at. I think our team's actually looking pretty good right now. So I think now you should probably head into preseason, play the first preseason game, at least simulate it, and see how we do. Because we do have the new returner, of Berlin Marmorosa, 94 punt returning, 95 kick returning. He's pretty good. We do have our new kicker, Alley, Hunter Alley. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, uh, what it was before I said it was. But uh, we'll go to offense, see what our offense looks like before the preseason. We have Duke Johnson, 81 overall. He's bringing it better this year. We've got a franchise quarterback in Giver Pop, 78 overall. Robert Griffin III at backup, 74. And we do have our newly signed Malcolm Gilmore, I think his name is, 78 overall. He's pretty fast, just undrafted free, and he looks pretty good. And our offensive line looks to be pretty stacked this year after having a terrible year last year. Let's see, Grace. Was he the guy we signed this year? I think it was the guy, yeah. We, we drafted Antoine, Antoine Grace. So he's starting now at right guard. Practically our entire offensive line is starters, at, or is rookies. We have Julius Creighton, who's a rookie. Antoine Grice, who's a rookie. Cotty Warfield is a rookie. And we have Joel Batonio, who is last year, and Joel Thomas, who obviously is a veteran. So let's go and quickly go and see what our first preseason game is between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Browns. We'll continue with the uh, weekly preseason, though, or training. So for training this year, probably to go and add not Julius Creighton on here, uh, or should we do Julius Creighton? I'm not really sure. Now nah, he's got normal development. We gotta go and add our new franchise quarterback in Kiefer Pop though. Kiefer Pop, I know you'll get good in due time, but I want to get him good like as soon as possible, kind of thing. Now we do have Ali Godfrey though. Should we focus in on Ali Godfrey, or should we focus in on a guy with quick development? Uh, Joe Hayden, uh, who's quick development? Corey Coleman. We could do Corey Coleman actually, maybe. Uh, anyone else in here? Duke Johnson. Is that Duke on it? Why not? Or should we know? Ah, uh, I'm not sure what to do here. Actually, no, we'll leave it there. Let's go and... Should we do the practice this year? I'm not really sure if we should do the practice or not. Uh, we'll probably actually leave out the practice. I think we'll be fine without it, because we did it entirely last year. But now, right before we do this, though, we'll leave Doriel Green Beckham in at... Actually, no, we'll put Gary Barnes in at starter, so we can get him the most reps. So Daryl Green Beckham will look good at tight end, I think, after this preseason. Anyone else look better? Should Malcolm Gilmore be a starter, or should he be a backup? So we check him out more. Uh, we'll leave him there, actually. We'll see who it is before, because we, we don't want our starters to be injured, obviously. So we find there. Hopefully Kiefer Pop will look good in his first start as a Brown. Let's go and simulate the training, why not? We'll go in to play the moments and see his first game against the Eagles and the Browns in preseason and I one. I think what they've done is they've put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we and he takes this one in for a Brown score. Isaiah Crowell. The drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. There's Kessler to throw. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Josh Gordon, 46 yards. And the Browns add on to their lead. And this is what coaches talk about, never being satisfied. No matter what the lead, always trying to increase it. You never know what can happen in this NFL. So we did the first preseason game. We actually took the W for once. I uh, score a 24 to 17. Let's go view this box score and cut some more players in week one. So let's see player stats. Obviously, it looks like Kiefer Pop had his first career preseason start. And let's view these stats by there. So Matt Simmons played against us. He had 144 yards passing, one touchdown, one interception, or two interceptions. Uh, where is Kiefer Pop? 37 yards passing, 105.2 passing rating. 22 is his longest. Okay, so he had barely any passing. And 100% passing completion. And so, yeah, he had a decent day, I guess, so far for Kiefer Pop. But RG3 came in, passed for 20 yards, and 13 was his longest for one. He got sacked once. Okay, so let's go check out what happened for rushing. Rushing was probably our best stat. But Crowell, 60 yards rushing of 14 attempts, one touchdown, and one broken tackle. Cool. And then it looks like Latavius Murray is playing for them. 77 yards rushing, 22 attempts, one touchdown. Let's go on to receiving, though. Receiving. Less the teams are receiving. Selected. Five reception for 54 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Gordon, 46 yards, one reception, one touchdown. Uh, anything else? Uh, Malcolm Gilmore, 22 yards, pa I mean, 22 yards receiving, one reception, and zero touchdowns. Dorok Green Beckham, 20 yards. Uh, Kenny Sills, 15, and one touchdown. Anything else? I think it's about it when it comes to those stats. But we'll go to blocking. Any ta sacks let up. Sean Coleman left two. Sebastian Vollmer left two. Lane Johnson, one. Fleming, one. And Doralis won. So, none of our rookie offensive linemen left sacks. I'm really proud of that, actually. Actually, our veteran did. Actually, Sebastian Vollmer, two sacks. 
And Sean Coleman, I have no idea what position he played, but he let two sacks. Uh, let's check this out, though. For tackles. This looks like Ali Goffrey, the rookie middle linebacker. He tackles one assist a tackle. Pretty good for him. Zero sacks. Uh, McGowan, six tackles, one assist tackle, and two sacks for him. So Rashad McGowan looks really good defensive uh, right end. We should actually consider maybe putting in Rashad McGowan maybe in a defensive tackle. I'm not really sure what kind of comes to that. Because when I was playing as, him at, as defensive tackle in the game, he was just money. He'd break through any kind of a block at all. So I like him at defensive tackle. But uh, anything else? We got Kamalu, six tackles, one tackle for a loss. And I think that's about it when it comes to important stats. We'll sort by QB sacks, though. QB sacks. So Vinny Curry, 2.5. McGowan, 2. 1.5 for Keys. And 1 for Carl Nassib. Okay. Let's see interceptions, though. Interceptions, we have Marcus Williams, one interception, and Justin Gilbert, one interception. Okay, so two interceptions for us on the day, looking pretty good for that. But let's see Marcus Williams, though. Can we view that? We know we can. Okay. So let's go and move on to, I guess, the, the preseason two, the second game of the preseason. But first, we have to cut three players on the squad. So who should we cut? Um, we got McLeod, left it to the linebacker. We didn't really do anything with him. Uh, what should we do? Then we have Alex Carter. Jefferson, Nicholas Winters, we don't under get rid of him yet. And Josh Evans, okay. Uh, most likely we're going to get rid of Jefferson first, just get based on that, he's not really that good. We'll cut him. Uh, Alex Carter, what should we do with him? Don't really need to cut him yet. And Michael McLeod, Raquel McLeod, we'll go, and I guess we could probably cut him too. He didn't really do anything. Uh, one by two... Okay, there you go. And then let's go. Can we do, cut any more players? Three more. Or one more player to cut. Cool. Uh, Alex Carter, Nicholas Winters, Josh Evans. Should we cut Josh Evans yet or no? We'll probably cut actually, we'll cut Josh Evans first. There you go. So, because we just drafted Nicholas Winters, so it doesn't really make too much sense to cut him now. But uh, what should we do now when it comes to positioning, though? I like McGowan at right end. He looks pretty good. Uh, only problem is that Carl Nassib is ahead of him. Mm, what should we do? Uh, should we put him in defensive tackle, see what he does? Let's see his overall is at defensive tackle, actually. I want to check that out, because he's actually doing really well in the interior. He's got 78 speed, he's got good strength. I mean, he's got all the makings there to be a good defensive lineman. We'll go to defensive tackle, where is that? Damn, it's everywhere. There you go. Defensive tackle, there you go. Save the changes, see what overall he is. Hopefully he's like 70, or at least his jersey number is 70. Uh... He's got 76 overall defensive tackle. Wow, he's good. Okay, we'll leave him at defensive tackle because he's really good at it. 6'5", 90 strength, 78 speed. He's got the basically the makings are to make a good, be a good defensive tackle. So Rashad McGowan could be a good... Silica might be able to actually lose his job this preseason. I'm not really sure, but he's got 56 speed. He's not the greatest. He's got good tackling, though. I like him for that. But Silica, watch out. Looks like, looks like maybe the undrafted free agent Rashad McGowan could be able to take your job. I'm not really sure, but he might be able to. But now, I think we did the right position move right there. Anything else left to do on here? I don't think there is. So, let's go move on. Uh, let's check out the uh, record right now, though. Okay, there's no other record for anyone else. Okay. So, let's go and move on to the next week, I guess, against the, Bron the Broncos. And see what other, other transactions are made in the NFL. See if we pick up some players. All that kind of stuff. Because there could be some surprise cuts. And maybe be able to sign those players, too. Okay, so it's got four players this week after the Broncos game. We're going to go and simulate that one instead of actually going in and playing it. But I like seeing, uh, actually, I like seeing McGowan on here. We'll leave him in that backup. Crap, what'd I do? Uh, what'd I do? Okay, we're going to go p fix that issue right there. I hate when it, it does that in the that uh, mode right there, that screen. Good defensive tackle. Let's see if we can go McGowan there. Yeah, they put him already down there. We'll probably move him ahead. Of Antavia Blue, because he's better than him. And I think that's good enough. You might be able to cut John Hughes or trade him. I'm not really sure. Probably going to cut John Hughes eventually. Silga might be able to lose his job due to Rashad McGowan. I think that might be good. I think it's good now. Move on to the starters, the depth chart. Let's see what it looks like on here. The defense. Okay, we got McGowan on there this time. Damn, we got to switch them. Because Danny Shelton's fine. I like Danny Shelton. He's got good all around everything. He's got quick, quick development too. There he goes. So we're going to leave McGowan in a backup that we can get the most reps. And I think it looks good otherwise when it comes to their defensive line. Same with this. Looks pretty good there. Yeah, everything looks good. Okay, so we'll move on to offense. I want to see if Kiefer Pop get his XP up a bit this week. Uh, but first, we're going to move our D3 out. We'll bring in Cody Kessler. 
Or should we bring in Kiefer Pop? I'm kind of worried about him getting injured, though, against the Broncos defense. You don't want to put him against the Broncos defense, that's for sure. Uh, we'll probably leave it there. We're good there, I think. Yeah, we're pretty good there. Uh, what should we do now? We'll go and send this preseason game. We're not going to actually play it. We'll probably go... Where's, where's the training? Weekly training and see how we do. I want to go and simulate that game, though. We're not going to play it. Uh, Creighton, Warfield, Godfrey. I think we should probably put in... Instead of Creighton, maybe? Or no? Maybe Godfrey, actually. Yeah, Godfrey, maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll bring in uh, our franchise QB in Kiefer Pop. Bring him there, seeing it the most reps. I think it looks good, good there. We'll probably have to go and play a training, though, first and see how he does in training so we can actually put him in as the focus training guy. So we'll start the training and see how we do. Hey, big fella, swing over here. Let's talk. We've been talking about you getting better every week. You know what? Today you got better. Let's keep it up. Big fella, swing over here. Let's talk. We've been talking about you getting better every week. You know what? Today you got better. Let's keep it up. Okay, so that was a pretty good practice there. We did end up getting uh, Julius Creighton, Cody Warfield, and Kiefer Pop that extra XP, which is pretty good. And now we're only going to be doing that trending thing for only one time only, just so we don't waste too much time. But now. Wait, first we'll go and play a Broncos game, then we'll go cut some players. So, let's go sim this Broncos game and see how well we do. Hopefully, we go and take this W. So, we'll be good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first, it's good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Browns have taken the early lead. So that's the rookie's first trip to the end zone, and I think it's safe to say one he'll always remember. Oh, without a doubt, that one is going to be... So through the great game there by the Browns, we're going to go and check out what these upgrades are for our team. So we got Heaver Pop, Allie Godfrey, we do have Justin Gilbert too, Josh Gordon, Foria, Schobert, and a whole bunch of other players on the team. So I don't know how to upgrade a Heaver Pop yet. Probably just going to hold off until maybe next week or so. But let's check out the box score for that game against the Broncos, though. So the Broncos... I thought for sure we'd lose, but we somehow did actually come out with the W. So, he up 73 yards passing, one touchdown, 130.17, 131.7 passing rating, pretty good for that. And then we have Cody Kessler, 284 yards passing, 122.3 passing rating, three touchdowns, one interception, pretty good game by him. And Travis Simeon, 16 yards passing, okay. Moving on to rushing, though, rushing, get Devontae Booker, 70 yards uh, rushing, uh, Crowell, 53 yards rushing. Anderson 39, Looker or Locker 23 yards rushing, Mike Allen had 17, and let's move on to receiving the receiving at Lattimore 71 yards receiving. Is that it? Oh no, we have Kenny Stills 98 yards receiving on two receptions, one touchdown, 49 per uh, is his average. Okay, so 41 is his run after catch, not too bad. Let's move on to Lattimore though, 71 yards receiving, Carl Lewis 69, Marius Thomas 56, Foria 35, Green Beckham 33. And I think it's about it for least major receivers. Move on to receiving touchdowns, though. Receiving touchdowns, Kenny Stills, Carter Lewis, Virgil Green, Mara Moreau said one, and 34, 34 yards receiving on two receptions. And Lo Locker had one touchdown. Move on to blocking them. Blocking, who lit up sacks? So De La Puente left two. Sean Coleman left two again. Oh my god, he's terrible. Uh, Garcia won. McGovern won. Greco won. Alvin Bailey won. And Sebastian Volber left another one. Okay. Fun defense, defense. Alec Goffrey, 10 tackles on the day, one interception, a great game by him. So Alec Goffrey, our rookie middle linebacker, playing very well. We have Byron Maxwell, 9 uh, tackles, 1 tackle for loss, 1 interception. Kamlu at 8, and 1 and half sacks, pretty good from him. Shepard at 8, Gilbert at 6. Uh, who else? Let's move on to sacks, though, sacks. So looks like Marci Mark Cordes had 2, Kamlu had 1.5, Dora had 1.5, Tapper had 1, uh, Var Burrow, I won, I don't know how to say that. Taylor had one, Aiko had one, uh, and Tavia Blue had half a sack, Sullivan had half a sack, Shepard half, uh, Lofton half, Nassib had half, and that's about it. So, I think there's a lot of sacks though for the team. That's crazy how many there were, but let's move on to interceptions. So, Godfrey, Orchard, and Wax Maxwell all had uh, interceptions. That's pretty cool. Let's move on to kicking though. Kicking. 
Coons is two for two, pretty good from him. Uh, punting doesn't really matter too much. Kick returning, let's see kick returning though. Barely any kick returning for us. Okay, that's kind of weird. Punt returning. Mike Allen at 31 yards on four punt returns. Pretty good from him. Now let's move on to the transaction, I guess. Check out what happened in the NFL since the last game. They'll go and cut some players. Let's move on to inter transactions. See what's up. So we're 2-0 in the preseason somehow. We're doing very well. Uh, let's check some these trades out. Jeremy Hill trade to the Patriots. Okay. Uh, Jason Kill trade to the Patriots. Patriots really acquiring a lot of players after the Tom Brady retiring. But anything else on here? Not too many on there. Let's go to signed. Who signed all these players? So we did last week, or the week before. Anyone else new signed, though? Barely anybody at all. Yeah, that's about it. Let's move on to re-signed. Nobody got re-signed yet? Okay. That's about it when it comes to all those kind of like releasings and all that kind of stuff. We're 2-0 in the preseason. Uh, it looks like we're first in the AFC North so far after that game. But, uh, wait, they say something about Cole Colvin? I want to see Cole Colvin and the 49ers, actually. I want to check out, check out them. Because it's always going to be Cole Colvin versus Kiefer Pop. That's going to be the career story just based on it. It's like Andrew Luck versus Robert Griffin III. But, uh, let's check this out. So where is these 49ers? I want to check them out on stats. Check these stats. Let's see what Cole Colvin's playing. Because right now, it looks like we're doing very well, though, for our team. Let's check out player stats. There we go. So, looks like Kiefer Pop has 110 yards uh, passing, 9 for 12, 1 touchdown, 0 interceptions. Looking pretty good for 75 completion percentage. Pretty good. Let's move on to the 49ers. I want to see these Niners. There you go. So, Cole Colvin, 103 yards passing, 9 for 14, 0 touchdown t passes so far. So, Cole Colvin doesn't have a touchdown pass yet, but we do. The Mar Roland Marmoroso, though. But here's Cole Colvin's uh, card, though. He looks very good, though. Look at this. Like, my God, he is amazing at a quarterback. But, I don't know. I could see Kiefer Pop maybe outplaying him eventually. I don't really know. They're basically the exact same player, except Cole Colvin's a little bit more experienced. But, uh, it's like almost like they have the same age, same height. Not the same college, obviously, but... Uh, same p superstar potential, so it looks really good for them. Mm, anything on here? He's 12th in quarterbacks. Wow, already. So he should probably go... Oh, one thing you should probably do with Cole Colvin is... Or not Cole Colvin, um... Uh, Kiefer Pop is probably convert him into, uh... Mainly a, uh... Whatchamacallit? I'll move on to roster. Convert him to maybe into a balanced QB. Because right now they label him as a pocket passer. And he's like... He's basically good enough to be a mobile QB. He's got is basically almost the same amount of speed as Cam does. Let's go move on to editing and see if we can change him into a balanced. If he already isn't one balanced. So he's pocket passer on here. He could easily be a balanced QB actually. He's between mobile and a pocket passer. I think he'll do way better as balanced and I think he is. Okay, so 86 speed. He's better than RG3 at running. So that says something. And RG3 is a mobile QB mainly. So I mean, I don't know. He's basically better than RG3, which is pretty easy to do, but go on to wide receivers, though. So, looks like Marlboro's having a great preseason so far. Same with Gilmer, though. He's having a great preseason so far. But we'll, at the end of preseason, we'll go check out the stats, make sure what we're cutting the right players and it comes to it. But let's go and cut these players after week two of the preseason and see how better our team is. So, go to here. Raheem Mostart, Seth the Valve, or Sean Sims. We'll probably cut Sims, actually. John, he's the third, Dolphus Washington, and McGowan. We're not going to cut McGowan, McGowan for sure. He's doing very well. John, we're going to cut him. Just based on we don't need him. There we go. Dolphus Washington, should we cut him? I mean, it looks like McGowan's already better than him at his position. Uh, should we do it? Now, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. Rashawn Sims will cut for sure. Uh, set the valve, we're not going to cut yet. Raheem Mostert, we're probably going to cut just based on that. He's been outplayed by Mike Allen, so we'll cut him. There you go. So we have one player off the cut. We have Seth the Valve, Adolphus Washington, and Rashad McGowan. Who should we cut? I'm going to cut Adolphus Washington just based on that McGowan's way better than him, and he's undrafted free agent, plus he's making less money, I think. So looking very good. Seth the Valve just avoids cuts this, this week, at least. And hopefully Doriel Green Beckham plays well at tight end. That's what I'm hoping so far. But let's go move on to the next week and see how well we play against the Jaguars, though. The Jaguars are a pretty good team. Obviously, last year you saw the Jacksonville Jaguars. Blake Bortles win MVP last year. So Blake Bortles trying to come back and make back-to-back -back MVP years. But are we playing against the Jaguars in Cleveland? We're 2-0, they're 1-1. Oh, what else less to do? Uh, we're going to upgrade Key for Pop, actually. How should we upgrade Key for Pop this week? Or should we wait after? Probably wait after, actually. But 
Uh, what should we do? So there's a lot of teams that are two and zero. The only bad team is the Steelers so far in the AFC North. But what should we have left to do? Uh, I think we'll check out trade blog. Actually, I want to see who's on here. There's probably a lot of players on here actually. So who do we have on the trade block? You got Jay Cutler, obviously, Sam Bradford, McCarron, Kaepernick, Prescott. Uh, running backs, we got Vereen. Fullbacks, got Watt. Wide receivers, you got Lee, Green, Janice. Tight ends, you got Zach Miller, Kenricks. See center, though. You got Wood. Practically, our entire team is fine, though. We don't need to add anybody, really. See kickers, though. Nobody in kicker, okay. So it says our QB ne our needs are QB and right end. I doubt with that. Our team is fine. Basically, we don't really need too many needs anymore because we have all the young players in place. And we just got to wait for them to go and grow, and they'll eventually be good. So, after Keeper, Keeper Pop, we'll wait until next week to go and grow them. Uh, we'll go and... I wish you could just skip, simulate. We'll simulate this, the training. Uh, I wish you could just skip... Like, can you sim this just based off of right here? Because uh, I don't want to go and cut any players yet. Unless I have to, which I probably will have to. Yeah, it looks like I might have to do that already. Wait, can we just go in advance? Can we do that? I think we can, actually. We'll go and simulate this. See if it takes us, unless we have to go and cut players, obviously. But I don't want to play the game against the Jaguars, because we've already played two games. Got enough footage for guests for Keeper Pop and Cody Kessler and Roland Marmorosa. But now we have to cut 10 players after this Colts game. A new injury, though. Hopefully it's not Keeper Pop. Roland Marmorosa out seven weeks. No. No, Roland Marmoroso, it's seven weeks of the broken hand. Are you kidding me? How is his hand broken? How is his hand broken? Oh my good god, we didn't even play him that much either. So Marmoroso, it's seven weeks, I can't do anything about that. It's just done. Okay, so Marmoroso, at least it opens up a spot for Gilmar, but I mean, Marmoroso was our heart and soul with a wide receiver corpse though. Oh, it sucks, but I mean, you just gotta go and move on with that, just the way it goes. So, what should we do with our team now, that Roland Marmorosa is at? We'll cut the players first, because we, we need to cut five players anyway. So now, should we cut on here? We got Cardell Jones, we'll probably cut him, actually, we don't need him. Uh, Rieger, Looker, Schobert, we'll keep Schobert. Hunter Alley, should we cut him? Probably not. Uh, Mike Allen, we're not gonna cut. Dyer, we're probably not gonna cut, actually, he's pretty good. Jordan Richards, we'll cut him. Uh, Cameron Irving will probably cut him actually, or we could probably trade him actually. He's pretty young. We'll cut, we'll trade him. Campbell will keep. Who else should we cut on here? Reader maybe. Uh, Tyrone Looker is pretty good though. I like him. We'll keep Looker. We'll cut. Mm, Seth the Valve maybe. We have way too much depth. Way too much depth at this position, but he cut three, seven more players. Wow. Okay. So Reader, we might have to cut him. Looker will keep. Schobert, should we cut him? We'll probably cut him. He's too slow. Ali, we'll probably have to cut him because we have too many quick kickers. Mike Allen, we'll keep him. He cut former players. Dyer, should we cut him? He's got good tackling, good strength. I like him. We'll move. Actually, we can move the practice squad. I forgot about that. We'll move these guys to practice squad. Mike Allen, we'll keep him. Uh, Cameron Irving, what should we do with him? I don't really don't know. Uh, Tavern Looker will probably bring to practice squad, maybe. I don't know. We'll leave that there. Uh, Campbell, should we get him? We'll probably trade Campbell, actually. Irving, we'll trade him. And so on. So we'll go and make some trades. we got to make some trades, obviously. But first, we're going to go try and upgrade Kiefer Pop's overall to make him look better as position. So Kiefer Pop, he's got he's done an entire preseason. I think he's good enough. We can probably upgrade him to uh, some over new overalls. So awareness, strength, you can upgrade. Short accuracy, we'll probably upgrade that, maybe. A medium, deep accuracy, throw on the run, play action, maybe play action actually. Uh, carrying, you don't really need to upgrade that. Drugging, stiff arm, toughness, injury. We'll probably go and upgrade. Uh, medium accuracy, make that even. And then we'll probably go and upgrade play action. Try this. Didn't go, to, go up in overall, wow, I'm surprised. Skew for up didn't go up in overall, it doesn't really matter too much, but I mean... Still 78 overall. We'll see what else happens there. But we'll go move on to Trade Center. See who we could, we could trade. And maybe make our team less. I don't know. So we don't have to cut some of these players. But we'll go to... Let's go to... Uh, center. See what Cameron, we can get for Cameron Irving. Because Alvin Bailey is better than him. There's Cameron Irving. Who needs a center around the league? 
Looks like maybe the bills you doing. Bills. Uh looks like maybe the Jets need him. Bills Jets. Yeah, the Bills and Jets. Okay, let's see what the Bills have though. Let's see who the Bills need. We'll probably get a draft pick out of them. We'll get maybe a fourth. Fourth go through. And it doesn't. Okay, some surprise. We'll go to the fifth then. Because we're not gonna get any players of this. The fifth. We'll go to the deeper fourth. We'll go through. And it does, okay, so we get a fourth out of Cameron Irving, pretty good from that. Okay, so after the trade right now, we're going to go and move Keeper Pop to backup so he gets the most experience from there. I think it looks good from there on, though. Um, we'll bring in probably, we'll let Locker get some looks in the second half. And I think we're good there after that Marmorosa trip, I mean, that Marmorosa injury, though. That sucks. Seven weeks, broken hand, that's so bad, but how much we check out here? We get to cut two more players. We're going to go and simulate like this game against the Colts and see how well our team plays. But first, we have a trade offer for Christian Kirksey, though. Okay, we'll review that. Okay, so we got Minnesota 4th and a 7th. New Orleans 3rd and a 7th. Washington 2nd and a 7th. We got Baltimore just a st straight up 2nd. Carolina, Green Bay, Jacksonville. New York really wants them. Uh, San Francisco, Philadelphia, Kansas City. A lot of teams want them, wow. Okay, so most likely it'll take a second out of this, but I'm not taking seconds from like 2019 though. Is that they're offering me? Oh my god, there's be way, way too deep uh, draft picks there, but Christian Kirk seems like to trade him right now. I think he's fine right now, is where he is. I think we're good there, but I need to cut two more players in the team. Let's see what we need to cut. So, Darren Looker, Mike Allen, Michael Bowie, and Campbell. Could probably trade Cam Michael Bowie actually. Should we do that? You could probably trade Michael Bowie right now. Because he took our situation at right tackle. I mean, you got Vollmer, and we got Creighton. That's about it. So, let's go trade Michael Bowie somewhere else because he's got talent. Because apparently teams want him. So, we'll go to manual trade, find Michael Bowie on here, and see what teams need a right tackle. There's probably a few teams that need one. Michael Bowie. Let's see what teams need a right tackle, though. Okay, so it looks like maybe the Cowboys need a right tackle. I don't know why, but. They need one for some reason. Let's check out their situation situation at right tackle, though. They do have one. Unless they don't want Doug Free and they want someone younger. I'm surprised about that, but see picks. So, probably get maybe, uh... Let's check out get maybe getting, uh... A fourth? That's probably the most they can get, but let's try it. We'll go through. And it does! We get a fourth from Michael Bowie. Cool. So, you get a fourth from Michael Bowie. Not too bad of a trade there. We do dump, dump some players in our organization, which is the best thing there. Uh, let's go cut players and see if we need to cut left. Mm, we do have Tyron Looker and Campbell. Why do we need to cut Campbell? Let's see your situation at strong safety. Is it pretty good, actually? I don't know if it is. Yeah, we're fine there. At least we have Antoine Bethea, though. That's the thing. Uh, we have Bethea, but Campbell's probably better than Bethea. I'd imagine. He's probably not, but... I think we're fine where we're at. We do need three, unless we don't really need three. Now I think we're fine there. We could probably get maybe get rid of Campbell. But Thea, he is older though. 33. Campbell is only 25. We're getting rid of Bethea for sure. So maybe you can find a suitor for Antoine Bethea. We're probably not going to be able to find one. But if we can get draft picks out of this, it'll be pretty fine. So let's go find Antoine Bethea on this, on this team. There you go. The C team needs a strong safety. No teams want him. Okay, so we'll just go to straight release Bethea because we don't need him. Uh, let's go to my team. Go to roster. And release Antoine Bethea because we don't need him. So go to strong safety. Bethea. And we'll go and cut him. There we go. So you released Antoine Bethea, that's the last cuts we need to make for this week, before week 4. We got all the cuts done, so it doesn't really matter too much. Let's go advance to next week and see how well our team does against the Colts in uh, Indianapolis. But we did lose the last game though, I'm surprised. What's the last game though? So we lost that one, I think we lost it. I don't know where we lost it, but team schedule. Okay, there we go. So we lost against Jacksonville in Cleveland, but Kiefer Pop had 136.8 passing rating, 187 for his passing yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Let's see rushing. Rushing Chris Ivory, 56 yards rushing. 
on and two touchdowns. We got Crowell, 51 yards rushing, zero touchdowns. Uh, Duke Jones, 30 yards rushing. Okay. Keeper Pop at four. Let's see receiving. Receiving. Uh, Lee, Marquis Lee at 97 yards receiving, zero, inter zero touchdowns. Corey Coleman, 56 yards receiving. Cor Darrell Green Beckham, 47. Uh, Doug, you know, Duke Johnson at 38. Gilmore at 36. Gordon, 33. Kenny Sell is 20. Marmos is 16. And I think he got injured on this one, too. So it's not a worthwhile 16 if you get injured in the preseason, but it's a good at blocking. Who let up a sacks? Vollmer and Purnell. Okay, so. Sebastian Vollmer, you're not starting at right tackle, that's for sure. So it looks like our rookie Julius Creighton will get the start at right tackle this season. But let's go move on to defense. Defense, Godfrey, 16 tackles. He is a god. Okay. And zero sacks, zero interceptions. But 16 tackles for a rookie middle linebacker, Ali Godfrey. You have Campbell, seven tackles. Lee Johnson, five. Gilbert at five. Kirksey at five. And let's see sacks. So Day at 1.5, Orchard 1, Ogbud 1, uh, half, 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 okay. Let's see interceptions. So Kirksey had 1 interception, and Courtney Opshaw had 1. Okay, so Christian Kirksey playing very well right now. That's probably why teams want to trade for him. But see kicking. Kicking, Travis Goons 1 for 2, already miss. Let's go and move on the next week and see how well we play against the Colts. They're probably going to kill against the Colts, but I mean, just the way it is. So... Let's go simulate this week and see how well we do. But first, wait, wait, hold up. Practice squad is up here. I forgot about that. So we can probably add up some players to our practice squad. That's one thing we could do. So let's see these practice squad el eligible players on here. So we do have Dixon, uh, Perkins, Braz Brandon Brzezinski. We do we don't really need a right tackle. Let's see Spatch, though. Sanchez Spatch. He's pretty good. We'll add him to the practice squad. Anyone else? We got Burbank. I'll add Peter Burbank. Why not? I know he's pretty bad. Uh, Kenyon Drake, uh, Bacon, Tevin Bacon. He's actually 93 speed. He's pretty fast. We'll add Bacon on here. Uh, Perkins, Kenneth Dixon. Not really door on him. Adolphus Washington will sign him back to the practice squad. There we go. Uh, Artis Ambrose. There's a lot of offensive players in here. Joe Schobert. I don't know why I released him. He could have added him to the practice squad. Add him. Uh, who else? Hunter Alley will add him, just based on we drafted him, so might as well add him to the practice squad. And who else? Arsenal. Okay, let's add Arsenal here. Wait, we have too many running backs, never mind. Uh, Cody Frey. AJ Frey's 5'11", though. We need some taller receivers. This is the fastest dude on here. We got Madavi. 5'8", okay. Uh, straight... Battle. Battle's a pretty cool name, but Denton Madavi. Let's check him out. So 96 speed, he's pretty fast. Let's see straight though. Is straight and he's good. He's got speed, obviously. Battle. Uh he's actually pretty good. Battle's not too bad. Well I battle actually. Case in battle. And I'll see Buckner. He's pretty fast. Plus he's decent so far, so we'll go to practice squad for him. I think we might have filled up our practice squad already. We have Roby, though. We'll go... What should we do with this? We'll go to overall. We'll probably have Brandon Brzezinski. Why not? Because he's the best guy there. How many more spots left did to add? Uh, we'll try... Now we'll do tight end. Uh, Kilo Williams. We'll add him. Go. Anything else, though? We need to add one more player, maybe. Craver. Don't want him. Max Turk. Well, him, why not? Because it's... Actually, no, we don't need Adam. There you go. We're fine. Then when it comes to the practice squad, we filled up a practice squad. Looks pretty good. So let's go and move on to... Okay, so now week one of the NFL season. We still get trade offers for Christian Kirksey, but it looks like no players on our team got injured, which is so, so good to see. So move there. Keep a pop now. Start a QB. Uh, anything else to check on here? Gilmore made the starting roster, looks like, so he'll be starting for us. And anything else? I don't think there is. So let's go and check out what happened in the transactions, at least for the preseason. So we've got transactions right here. We do have a few draft stories so far, but yeah, it looks like a rugby player going to play defensive tackle for Tennessee. That's pretty weird to see. Uh, anything else to check for my stories? So it looks like everyone's just having a fuss when it comes to... Uh, Antoine Bethea. 
I remember they, nobody wanted him, so that's why I didn't trade him. But everyone else I traded, like I traded Cameron Irving and all that kind of stuff. But anyone else? Do you have Hunter Alley? There's like basically, basically nobody on here. It's kind of weird. Uh, let's go move on to draft stories. Let's see draft stories. So you got Robert Fain, obviously the rugby player. Uh, anything else? I think that's about it. So it was a pretty successful preseason for the Browns this time. But I guess on this episode for here, so make sure you like, subscribe for more Browns franchise mode. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.